Hey class, it's Mr. Hammond, and uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up for the lab and perform the lab. So these are the equipment, or this is the equipment you're going to need, flashlight. You can use a pencil or colored pencils. I like to use colored pencils to show my two different shadows. Makes it a lot easier in the long run. Some tape, a Lego man, or it can be like an army man or army person, Lego person, um, a small action figure, but you want it fairly small. You could even find like just even a little piece of wood about this size or a block. That would work fine too. Uh, eight and a half by 11 piece of paper or printer paper um, and a sundial, which we've already made or you should have already made. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up for the lab. Uh, to do this, I'm going to start by taping down my sundial because I want to be able to move it up and forward and backwards without it moving from its spot. So I'm just going to take some tape some tape on there. I'm going to make sure it's pretty well stuck because I don't want to have it move once I start. It's probably overkill, but why not? I got the tape to spare. There we go. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of paper down. Um, just on the edge, I'm going to tape it right onto the sundial. So I don't want to tape it down too much because I don't want to rip my paper, but here we go. Just the edge of it. Just so it's not moving all over the place while I do this. Okay, looks pretty good. I might tape down one of the corners just to make sure. And I just got the edge of it. All right, great. Now I'm going to get my books. Now I have six of these little books. You're going to have to find some books. And you want to get enough books so that you can do different heights because we're going to do one that's low where the sundial is kind of angled very low and one where it's angled up very high. Um, because in the summertime, the sun is up high in the sky, I'm going to go ahead and start by doing that one right here. And so I'm going to keep the sundial up fairly high and I'm going to use all the books I have. So this right here is about, I'd say about six to eight inches high. Oops, sorry, I moved the camera. And my sundial is propped up. And now I'm going to take my little Lego person, Lego Panda Man or woman, and put him right there in front of that dot that I made on my sundial. Okay, I am all set up. Now all I have to do is choose my color, which I'll use this wonderful pink for summertime. Um, and I'm going to grab my flashlight. Now if you're not going to use different colors, then you're going to have to use the front and back of the sheet, like do summer on one side and then winter on the other side. I'm using two colors. So I'm just going to do it all on the same side of the paper. I just know that the pink is for summer and the blue is for winter. Okay, turn on my flashlight and go turn off the light. Okay, so this is not perfectly dark, but I don't want it perfectly dark because you wouldn't see anything. I'm going to focus in my flashlight here. And you can use other things besides a flashlight. If you have like a headlamp that your dad or mom uses for camping, or if you have a small little lamp that you can somehow focus the light on, that would work too. And each of these spots that I've marked, the times, sunrise, 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., noon, I'm going to stop the, or I'm going to place the, the flashlight at that point and shine it on my, my panda person. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw or outline the shadow. This doesn't have to be anything great. So here I am outlining my shadow. I just have to have the basic one. And then I'm going to write down inside of it, sun rise. Now, this is a tough part. And you may have to get somebody to help you, but I think I can do this. I'm going to hold the light up at 7.30 a.m. And now I'm going to draw the shadow again. Then I'm going to move it to 9 a.m., pointing at my panda person. Draw the shadow again. I got ears. 10.30 a.m. Again, this is not the best drawing. And 12 noon. Now at this point, I'm going to stop and I'm going to label some of this stuff. So this is 12. Then I have 10.30 here. And then here I have nine. I gotta tell you already, I think I'm gonna use 
this, uh, the winter one, and I think I may, I may do the winter one on the other side. It just may be easier. So I'm going to continue going all the way around. I'm going to go to 1.30 to 3 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. and then to sunset, and I'm going to draw my shadows all the way across, okay? When I'm done, I think I'm going to flip over the worksheet, and on the other side, I will do winter. But with winter, it'll be different. With winter, I'll remove some of the books in the back. So I'm only going to use two of the books. So the sundial, and I'll turn on the lights so you can see this. So the sundial, as you can see, it's a lot lower down. It's at more of a slant. So the back end is lower down and slanted more. So for the winter, you want it to just be barely propped up, or not propped up too much. And then for the summer, you're going to want to have it really propped up so it's almost straight up and down you don't want it straight up and down but almost there all right so that's what we're doing you're going to do both winter and summer so you end up taking the flashlight across there twice once for winter once for summer and when you're done you should have the shadow how it looks in the summertime and then i'll flip it over and you'll be able to see what the winter is now i'm not going to do any more because i want you to do this project um, so we're going to be doing this in class you'll be doing it with me in class I'll be here if you have any questions, and you'll be in your breakout rooms. So that's how it's going to run. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to stop talking.